Okay, we're by the C30 Electric, and I'm with. I'm. Uh, my name is Lena Stegland, and I'm the president of Car Special Vehicles, and we have the responsibility to develop the C30 battery electric vehicle. And uh, we started last year in January, so we have been progressing for about one year. And um, if you look at this car, uh, which is actually meant to uh, come into production. Uh, we have uh, decided and we know due to the structure tests we have done on lithium-ion cells that we need to uh, package the battery system far away from the crumple zones. So in this car we have put half of the battery in the uh, tunnel section of the car starting at the firewall almost and going all the way back to the rear seat. And here we have the second part of the battery which is then packed underneath the seat where you normally have the fuel tank. And the good thing here is that we have not changed any of the interior dimensions of the car. It's the same thickness of the foam, it's the same comfort, and we have no intrusions in the luggage area whatsoever. And on top of that, we still are remaining our spare wheel uh, possibility. There's a lot of junk in there right now. There's a lot of junk in there. Oh, what? oh this is the uh, connector? This is the connector that uh, uh -huh. we most likely will use in uh, Europe. Okay. It's called a mannequin. Okay. Okay. What? Uh, how? How big is the battery pack? The battery pack is all in all 24 kilowatt hours, and that will give us a range of about 90 miles. Okay. And 90 miles uh, in a commuting situation will correspond to uh, the usage of 95 percent of the, the persons in the world. So just only with the 100 kilometer range, you will cover 90 percent of the commuting need in the world. And we believe that uh, most people are relatively repetitive in the way of using a car. They go back and forth to the job, to the shopping mall, whatever. But in the end, they will cope within this range. And if they are, uh, let's say, relatively repetitive and predictable, then they can use this car in most situations in life. On the other side, we have to realize it's a commuter car. We will not solve all the transportation need in the world. So when you go with the family on vacation, of course, you take your regular car. But I think we should look upon it from an environmental point of view, because if you calculate the family's CO2 footprint per year, and one of the family members are using this in a very repetitive manner, then you clearly will take down the CO2 impact from your family per year, which I think counts in the end. And that is the good behavior and good citizen approach. The, um Show, show me the interior because you were talking about how, how the uh, driver moderates the battery usage. Yeah.